and welcome back to my channel. So today I just kind of wanted to do a brief announcement and updates. So as we know, Kota Kumi is doing her 20th anniversary tour, My Name Is, right now. And I wanted to kind of talk about this just a little bit. So the tour. I have to say that I am actually pretty proud of Kumi for what she's doing right now. Honestly, I did not expect that she was going to go on through with her tour. And I thought it was just so unfortunate that all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, that it had to happen in her 20th year. Because of course I wanted a big, massive like shindig with like all sorts of crazy effects and acrobatics and all these other things and whatnot. But you know, for what it is, I think she's done a really incredible job. So first off, she has had her lives featured on Mumo that you could go and watch. And so I did watch those. And I have to say, I am really impressed. Honestly, in the times that we are in and for the scale that she was able to do these lives, I thought were fantastic. And she really didn't let me down at all. So obviously, first off, we know that if you were attending the actual concert in person, that it was pretty much half the number that is normally there in an arena because of the whole situation going on because they have to have social distancing happening. But even with that happening, I mean, she still really brought herself to the stage. And I felt that this, in a sense, because we didn't have all those, you know, effects and everything going on, that it really made it focused on her and who she is as an entertainer. And so I thought it was fantastic. And obviously, okay, guys, we know those three singles came out. We had Puff, Lucky Star, and Double XKK. And that is my new jam, guys. Like, I love that song so much. And so I was so excited at the very beginning of the tour, especially her coming out with just like the lights behind her doing a silhouette. And then they do, she sings a cappella, the beginning chorus of Take Back, which I thought was awesome. And then just walks right to her throne, like a queen on stage that she is and goes right into double XKK. And I was so happy that she was wearing that outfit from the music video because I thought it was fantastic and I love it. And it's like, you know, a, a look back at her affection album with all the disco balls and I just thought that that was just so cool and the crown guys the crown is everything and how it has double XKK on it I think is so awesome and the only thing that could have made it cooler would be like if she had come down on her throne down from the ceiling with a lion like a real lion but <laughs> we know that that's not gonna happen I know that there were a lot of complaints about the actual set list but I have to say I was really pleased with the set list like yes it didn't necessarily cover like her entire discography but guys she has been in this business for 20 years like her discography is huge she has so many songs like it would be impossible for her to come even close to covering half of them and yes she did sing some of her more common ones she didn't do cutie honey or i don't think she did butterfly either but guys she has sung those so many times that i really appreciated the fact that she gave attention to the songs that she haven't really gotten a ton of attention and you know kind of focusing on like the last five years and i really didn't mind that and yes the set list was pretty much the exact same list that is on the album my name is in the exact same order but you know i was excited to see ones like sweetest taboo because i do enjoy that song and to see who because i like that one a lot and i was like really surprised and shocked when during the ballad section, she sang um, Through the Sky from her secret album because she has only sung that live one time as far as I know. And it was during a premium night live at the Yokohama Arena, I believe it was. It might have been, I, I don't know. I might have the wrong arena down, but it came as a bonus if you got the Kingdom 3 DVD edition album. It came with that on there and she sang Through the Sky in that one. So I hadn't heard her sing that song since. And so I was just shocked that she even sang that. Then in another live, she sang A Thousand Words, which I love that song, and so I was super excited about that one. Some of my favorite performances so far from the live, obviously, is the whole beginning part with Double XKK, and I loved just, you know, bringing in good jams like Pop Diva, Lollipop, Universe, Taboo, like these are all great songs, and so I was so pleased with that whole beginning there. And then also when she comes out to sing the song Puff, I thought it was so creative. She's 
running on a treadmill, like the fact that she kept her voice that steady while running on a treadmill and jumping around, like that's really impressive because it is so hard to do. If any of you have ever tried it, like it is hard. And if you haven't tried it, you should try. Try jumping around a bunch and staying in tune while you sing. It, it's very difficult. So I give her props for that. And I love the long ponytail look that she had is so cute. And it was, it was different to see her add like a pantsuit. And I have to say like, I actually really like it. Like it's keeping it like classy and just, but like not doing too much. And you have to keep in mind because of the times that we're in, I assume there's also rules that they can only have so many staff on hand during an actual concert because of social distancing. And so therefore you can't really do as much as you would like with a stage set. You can't have crazy props and people doing this and that during a show. And so they kept it really simple, but they still had really great effects. And so I liked that they focused on Kumi herself and just the choreography and the dancing. I thought that that was fantastic. And so I also really liked the added effect of Dance in the Rain. Of course, my favorite performance of Dance in the Rain will always be the Walk of My Life tour when she is up there on that freaking ribbon, you know, swirling around. Like, I just think it is so amazing. But this one was really cool, too. And having like the umbrella and just sparks flying down from the ceiling at her. I thought that that was really beautiful. And it's just such a powerful song. And she hit those notes. And I was proud of my girl. But you know, I mean, there were some other songs that you could definitely tell that she was struggling and couldn't hit as high, especially when she sang like Moon Crying, but she also got really emotional in it. And then towards the end, I mean, we have our typical kind of, um, you know, encore and she did sing Lucky Star as well. So I was happy to see that she sang all of the new songs, but overall guys, this tour so far has been really impressive. And so I am excited to see if in December when she has her final tour dates for this, if she's going to add anything new to it or if it's gonna just be the same thing, which is fine if it is. But, you know, I, I have to say too, merchandise why I, merchandise why merchandise wise, I love the emblem. Like I love the logo with the lion and I wish that the t-shirt for the concert, like I know the back of the t-shirt has it and I love the back of that, but I wish there was more on the front instead of just this super tiny print of my name is. And also I, I love the yoga mat and I wanted it and I missed it and I'm really devastated about it. Like I, that was what I wanted the most was that yoga mat was like everything. But you know, I did see that there was one on eBay, but you know, I just, I can't justify spending that much money for a yoga mat. So, you know, I don't know. I probably won't ever get it, but maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see guys. We'll see. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll get weak and I'll just in my moment of weakness decide to get it, but, but we'll see what happens. But other than that, also, I did order, of course, the My Name Is album where it came with the t-shirt and la di da and all that, but it has not arrived yet. And of course, because of the situation in the world, it has delayed the shipping and it says that it will be here in like 60 days, up to 60 days. So it's already been like 30 days. So I'm hoping at any point now that I will get it. And so I have just been waiting and waiting. So maybe it will come through at some point eventually. So I will definitely keep you guys posted and do an unboxing of that when I do get it. But yeah, guys, overall, like I'm really proud of Kumi. Like she's the only artist that I really know of that is doing like a full blown concert in these in this difficult time. And like she's killing it. Like she is doing amazing. And like to me, it really shows her character and her dedication to her fans that she's going to make this work for them and that it's not about her because I feel like if she wanted to make this about her and be selfish about it, she would be like, you know what? We're just going to do my big 20th next year when I can like go all out. But instead she's thinking of her fans first and doing what her fans want, which is just, they want to see her live. They want to celebrate with her in her 20th year. And I really love that. And I just, I just love Kumi. She's just so amazing and inspiring and I'm so grateful for her and her music. So if you guys haven't checked out the 20th anniversary live, I highly suggest that you do. I believe they are going to be doing more of the um, lives on the Mumo that you can go and um, purchase so that you can watch it. And then you do get a replay of it for about a week after the actual live premiere. So those are pretty much all my updates that I have for you guys. I will be trying to get another review out soon. 
but I just wanted to thank you guys for hanging out here with me on my channel and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will try to get more out as soon as I can. I had family that was living with us for a little bit here in the house that I had to take care of and I've got some um, friends that I'm helping to take care of their kids during the day so sometimes you know it's a little crazy up in here but you know I am glad that everything is going pretty smooth though for the most part in my life so guys I am excited to see what else is in the future here with us for Akumi I'm expecting to have an album probably announced maybe by the end of the year or maybe at the start of next year I'm you know fingers crossed she's been in the recording studio we know this we know there's a new song called I'm loving it I'm loving it is that what it's called? I'm loving, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it makes me think of McDonald's. So, like, I, I feel like that's not right, but maybe it is. But I haven't actually, like, really heard, I heard a snippet of that song, but I haven't heard any more than that. So I might have to go check that out. But anyways, guys, I will just stop talking now. So thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.